Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today is going to be a Topshop haul and basically the other day I was just in the centre of town, I was just having a little browse and I went into our Topshop concession inside Fennec and was just having a little look around there and they had some really nice pieces so I just wanted to bring them all together and show you exactly what I picked up. I would like to mention that Topshop have some really nice accessories in at the minute, um, especially shoes. I actually picked up three new pairs of shoes and a new handbag so yeah can't wait to show you exactly what I got as always I will show you up close what all the items look like and then later on I will insert a try on section as well I'm also going to be adding in two pieces from a brand called La Sula, and I'm really really excited to show you these pieces because I just know you guys are going to love them they're something that I would wear all of the time and they're perfect for the upcoming spring um, La Sula were kind enough to get in contact with, with me and said they were happy to send me some products so I picked out these two and I absolutely love them when they arrived so I can't wait to show you exactly what they look like as well. So I'm actually going to start off with a piece that I do already own in a different colour but is a few years old and of course I'm talking about my fur gilet. So you might have seen this in some of my other videos because I often style outfits with it because I just absolutely love it. So I own it in a, like a really sort of dark foresty like emerald green so I was over the moon to see that they have it in this gorgeous sort of beige colour. I mean I just absolutely love this colour. I think it's really easy to wear. It's neutral so it's going to sort of go with tons of things and um, I picked this up in a size 8 just because my other one's an 8 but yeah it's just this really nice sort of boxy fit it's nice and short as well which I do really like I often wear this in a few ways if it's warmer I might just pop a t-shirt underneath or equally I do layer it up with like duster jackets underneath and things like that and um, the good thing about this is it was £45 which is still quite expensive um, but when I originally got my one I'm sure they were like £65 or £69 so they have definitely reduced the price on these but yeah I absolutely love this so I can't wait to show you exactly exactly what it looks like. I did also pick up another blouse which is this one here. So this is black, um, it's just black all over and does have long sleeves. It does go into a v-neck as well and then at the bottom it sort of wraps over and just buttons and then goes out into a sort of a-line flared detail. So I really really like this. I think it's super smart and formal and will just look so nice with maybe skinny jeans. Might even look quite nice with cigarette trousers. But yeah I really like this and it actually feels such good quality. It's a really really nice sort of thick material. Um, I picked this up in a size 8 and this was £39. Here is the fur gilet, which of course I already knew that I was going to love because like I mentioned I actually already own this in a different colour. But honestly it is such soft faux fur and it does have a cute little... Oh! Oh no it does, it still does have pockets in and um, I thought it didn't for a second there. So yeah, I do really like this and like I said, I love the boxy style. I think it's really, really modern. And um, if I just turn around, you can see exactly what it's like. Um, I've also got this handbag, which is coming later on in the video. Um, like I will mention, this is definitely in the Chloe sort of style, but I absolutely love this. But I've actually just noticed they've left the security tag. Oh, this is so flipped annoying. So I'm going to have to take this back to Topshop. I did not steal this bag before anyone comments on it. I do have it on the receipt, as if that's actually on there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take off the gilet now for a second and show you the black blouse underneath. Okay, so here is the blouse. So it is quite low cut. I've decided not to wear a bra with this, but I've decided to pop on two necklaces to sort of, I don't know, not feel as bare up at the top. Um, it's a really good sleeve length on me. And again, I love the sort of peplum hem at the bottom. I think it's really, really flattering, just like the other white blouse. Um, if I turn around, you can see what it's like from the back. So yeah, just a really nice black blouse and it is really lovely quality. So I would definitely recommend this, even though it was a little bit more expensive for a something from Topshop. So the next thing I picked up was this blouse and I absolutely love it. So this is it here and it has these really cute polka dots and cherries printed all over it. So it's just a white blouse which sort of goes down to a three quarter sleeve. It does have elastic elastic around the cuffs so it just sort of creates like a nice bit of detail. It then is a v-neck which goes down into a little sort of tie detail and a button um, and then it sort of flares out at the bottom into a sort of like a-line frill. So yeah I absolutely love this. I think it's perfect for wearing with skin 
skinny jeans and you could easily dress this up for a nice sort of night out. Um, this was £29 and I picked this up in a size 10. Here I've just popped on the blouse with the cherry print and I really like the way this looks. Um, it's exactly what I was kind of looking for. If you did watch my misguided haul a couple of weeks ago, you might remember that I ordered a blouse with a very similar style and a sort of brownie orangey floral print but it just really didn't fit me very well. It was sort of gaping open in the middle. I couldn't get it tied properly where this is the exact sort of same style but it actually fits really nicely. Um, for £29 I think that's quite a good price from Topshop and if you aren't keen on the cherry print this did come in a couple of other prints if you'd prefer those better. Um, if I just turn around you can sort of see what the length is like. So it is slightly longer at the back which I do really really like and I think the sort of A-line flared frill at the bottom is really flattering and um, it sort of gives you a nice bit of shape up at the top. So yeah I really like this one and I definitely think this is one to look out for. So if you live anywhere in the UK you'll know that it's absolutely freezing at the moment and we're having this horrendous weather and um, they're calling it on the news the beast from the east. So the beast from the east is definitely up in Newcastle. Um, I didn't even make it to uni today because the metros were off and really really delayed and I really didn't want to get stranded in the centre of town. So you know a new jumper is never going to go amiss when you live up north. So I picked up this lovely sort of pinky jumper which goes down and has these really cool oversized cuffs which I absolutely love. It's just a really nice sort of relaxed fit. It is slightly cropped which I like because I think it would look nice maybe tucked into some jeans or I'd put a shirt underneath and have that sort of hanging down. I absolutely love that look. Um, this was... £29 I picked this up in a size 10 but this was actually from the Topshop Petite section and um, if they do have it in the normal section I will be sure to link that as well. Here is the sort of um, rosy pink jumper and I really really like this one and um, it's a really nice fit it's so so comfortable but still looks really quite like chic and I absolutely love shirts and jumpers together it's definitely my favourite look of all time and um, like I mentioned it does have this um, sort of oversized cuff and it does actually have a drop shoulder which I forgot to mention at the start. It does have some really cool seam details as well so there's one down the front and sort of down the arm and around the shoulders which I do really like and um, so yeah I really like this. Obviously I am about five foot three five foot four and this is petite but to be honest I would never sort of wear this just with um, jeans now that I've got it on. I think it definitely looks better as a sort of layered piece with a shirt or a t-shirt underneath and um, obviously I've just got on some black skinny jeans and some heeled boots that are later in the video. Um, if I just turn around you can see exactly what it's like from the back so again just a really nice comfortable fit but I do really like this and what did I say this was £29 which I think is a really good price for a lovely jumper. So I also got a really lovely cami which is perfect for going out so it's this, this gorgeous sort of I don't even know what colour this is, it's like a goldy, limey, yellowy colour, but I just absolutely love it. Just look how it catches the light, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's just obviously like a cami shape, but then does have this really nice um, stitching detail going on, which sort of goes down at the front and across and does continue around the back, which I really, really like. So yeah, I just can imagine this with a pair of skinny jeans and a blazer and just looking so smart and sophisticated. Um, this was £26, which I think is really good, and I picked this up in a size 10. Oh, and it does actually have adjustable straps which is always a bonus for a cami top. Here is the sort of lime coloured cami and like I said I absolutely love the sort of shine and satiny look of this top. I think it looks sort of really expensive and luxurious and um, I love the look of it with this blazer and just some skinny jeans and I've just got on some fairly um, flat but with a little bit of a heel um, pair of boots. But yeah, I do really like this top. As I said, it's just really good for going out if you want to sort of wear a pretty plain outfit, like all black, but then add like a nice pop of colour that's going to really lift up the outfit. So yeah, I do really like this one. It is slightly on the short side. Like, as you can see, it pretty much lies at the top of my jeans. And these are just a standard mid-waisted pair of jeans. But I do like the fact that the straps are adjustable, so you know you're going to have no bother with it being sort of too high or too low and yeah I mean for the money I think it is quite a good price the only thing I'm slightly concerned of is the fact it may click like it's that kind of material that if you did have something a little bit sharp or like a bracelet or something it could definitely click and leave a pull in the material but other than that I do really like this top. So I did also pick up a blouse which is this one here now I'm gonna say first of all that I absolutely love the pattern it's a really gorgeous pink colour with all these blue floral print all over this again has a bit of an extended 
extended cuff which is elasticated and it's high necked which I absolutely love high necks and um, it does also have an elasticated bottom which is always cool because it kind of gives you a bit of shape and things like that the only thing I'm not sure on is what I'll actually wear this with when I tried it on on the fitting rooms I did actually like it but I wanted to get it home and you know sort of try some things on with it so please let me know what you think when I do try this on this was £29 and I picked it up in a size 8 here is the sort of pink floral top and I've also got on some loafers which are again coming later on in the haul um, so with this top I'm really not that keen now I've got it on again um, I just don't really like it it's one of these tops where if I'm stood perfectly still it looks nice but as soon as I sort of have been walking around my room like the arms seem to like move up and twist and because this is elasticated it has like a tendency to like really sort of jump up and I wouldn't feel comfortable sort of walking around in this suddenly being like up underneath my bust line I just really don't like it and um, it's a shame though because I do love the high neck I think it's a very flattering sort of shape it's just a shame of the sort of like mobility of the actual top but yeah um, so this is definitely going to be a return <laughs> So before getting into the accessories from Topshop, I'm going to show you my two new items from La Sula. So the first thing is a black denim jacket, which I mean, you just can't go wrong. Black denim is really cool. I mean, we all love black denim jeans and I absolutely love black denim jackets as well. So this is it here. It's a sort of oversized fit and it is very distressed, which I absolutely love. So obviously it just has silver buttons that go down the middle um, and then obviously it is long sleeved. It does have some distressing on this sleeve but mainly when you turn it around on the back it has some like major distressing down the back which I really like this and it makes it perfect for the summertime because you know it's not going to be as warm if you know what I mean because denim can actually be like really quite warm if it's like a big thick denim jacket where this is going to be perfect because it has so much distressing on and um, I got this in a size medium which sort of equates to around a size 10 because I always like um, my denim jackets a little bit oversized I can't remember exactly how much this was but I'll be sure to link it down below but yeah I absolutely love this and I just don't think you can go wrong with a denim jacket so I really really like this denim jacket from La Sula and this outfit is exactly how I'd wear it it's a super simple easy outfit with basics that everyone's gonna own so I've just popped on some black skinny jeans these are actually top shot but they're fairly old and um, also a white t-shirt which I think this one's from ASOS um, and then I've popped on some little black western ankle boots which are coming later on in this video but yeah back to the jacket I really like this like I said the quality feels really really good it's that perfect in between where it's not too stiff that I feel like I can't move but it's not too thin that it doesn't feel like a proper nice denim jacket and um, if I just turn around you can see the sort of major distressing on the back which I actually love I think it's really cool and I love how you can kind of see that whatever you're wearing underneath a bit and I just think it's a really interesting look because you don't really see denim jackets like this on the high street I've never seen one with this much distressing so yeah I think it's a really cool thing to add to your wardrobe and like I say this is a really easy piece to just throw on every day in the sort of spring summertime. So if you do watch my channel you'll see that often when I style outfits I wear a lot of duster jackets. I am very much a fan of them. So the second item I picked out from La Sula is of course a duster jacket. So this is it here. Again it's just plain black so you're going to be able to wear it with so many things. It does have a lovely collar which I like and then it has that almost like waterfall detail um, which you will see when I try it on. It, of course it does have a belt that ties around the middle so if you want to tie it and sort of cinch in your waist you can. Um, it then also has quite a cool shape at the bottom. It's sort of the hem almost goes like this so it like drops towards the front which is a really nice bit of detail I've actually never seen a duster jacket like that so I really really like the style of it and what I'm also going to mention is it's this really cool sort of um it's like a creepy come neoprene material which is perfect because it means that it actually doesn't crease which clothes that don't crease are just so much more convenient in my opinion so yeah absolutely love this one and um, I picked this up in I think this was just one size actually yeah it was it's just one size so I just picked it up in that one and it fits perfectly so here I've just got on the same outfit as before and I did forget to mention that I did actually have the new boots on that are coming later on in this video but then of course I've popped on the duster jacket from La Sula so I really really like this and um, it's a nice lightweight duster and um, obviously it does have the tie so I could tie it shut but to be honest when I wear duster jackets I tend to just have them open so yeah I really do like this it's 
got that lovely waterfall detail like I mentioned and like I say it's perfect for throwing on over a pair of jeans and a little blouse exactly like this. So yeah, a definite thumbs up for this one. So I'm first going to go in and show you the very first pair of boots that I picked up. So this is them here, so they are like a western style boot and they're in a black suede material. They have a nice little heel at the back, really comfortable height, something that you can wear all day and they're not going to hurt your feet. Um, I really like the fact that they zip up the back, I think that's a really cool bit of detail and the zip silver so I do really like that. So these are real um, suede and these were £42 which I think is actually quite reasonable. Um, these were from Topshop sort of like hanging section so they were just a pair of hanging shoes but yeah I really really love these and I will definitely get plenty of wear out of these with just some black skinny jeans. So this is the handbag that I picked up and I absolutely love it. So obviously I think this is definitely a Chloe inspired handbag sort of just in the shape and things like that and of course the studs. Um, it does have just a little top handle like so but then it does have a zip that goes right across the front so if I just unzip that and then you can see inside it's still full of stuffing. It just has one main compartment and a little um, card holder slot at the back. Um, it does also have a long strap which is nice but mainly I just absolutely love the stud details. I love studs on bags so I absolutely love this one. Um, this is like a full leather material and was £28. So the next pair of boots I picked up were actually in the sale. Well they had like a special offer on. Um, I know Topshop do that quite a lot now. They'll do like 20 and 30% off certain styles especially their shoes. So I picked up these black boots and these are called the hero boots so these originally are 85 pounds but these were on special offer for 65 and I actually have my eye on these for a while so I'm just going to show you what one looks like so this is it here so it's very much like the boots that I always wear on my try-ons so it does go right into your ankle at the top but then it has this really cool oversized zip pull and a silver zip which goes all the way down so I absolutely love these this heel height for me is perfect because I do always would like to have a bit of height and when I tried them on they did feel comfortable and um, the only thing I'm going to say is I did have to size up in these and get a size six just because the fives were really really tight around my ankle like I couldn't actually like zip them up they were like this I was like hmm I don't know if I've just got a really large ankle or something but yeah sized up to the six and they fit perfectly so yeah absolutely love these and obviously I'll be sure to link these down below and these are actually also available in red if you are looking for some red leather boots so the final and third pair of shoes that I picked up are actually a pair of loafers. So this is them here. So they're very classic of Topshop because Topshop bring suede loafers with a tan sole in every single year and I always find them to be really, really comfortable. So the thing I really liked about these is they didn't have the classic sort of tassel on them. They actually just have like a really cool like folded bit of suede. That's the kind of detail. Um, I kind of hope that comes up on camera. But yeah, I really, really like these. I kind of got these um, with work in mind because I am starting a new job in the summer so really fancied a new pair of loafers so I absolutely love these I mean black suede always looks lovely in a loafer these were £32 which I think is a really good deal considering they are real suede and I picked these up in my normal size which is a size 5 so guys that is the end of today's video I really hope you all enjoyed and um, of course if you have any questions or comments be sure to pop them down below and I'll definitely get back to you and um, as always I will link everything that I've mentioned in this video down in the description box so that I'll include all the pieces from Topshop and of course the pieces from La Soula. But yeah, I do really hope you enjoyed this whole video and if you did, if you could give it a thumbs up and of course if you pop on the subscribe button, you will be sure to get a new video from me every single Saturday. So I look forward to seeing everybody next week.